everyone it's Melissa today I am going to do my July empties and I think there's some good ones I feel like I had a lot of things that were good and special for me in the month of July and a lot of it had to do with being outside in heat so I'm gonna go ahead and get started the first one is something I have never mentioned before because it is it's kind of expensive we've had it a real long time but so many people, whenever they see our kitchen, they ask us about it or ask me about it. And it is our Berkey water filtration system. Uh, we take water from the tab, tap, and you, we pour it into the top of the Berkey and it filters it out. And we have really, really good tasting clean water. And the reason I'm talking about this time, because well, there have been questions about it. But during the month of July, the grandkids came over and played outside a whole lot while I sat, you know, on the porch and watched them, and uh, or sit in a chair in the yard and watch them. And I got a lot of water every single day. I got water from the Berkey and took it out to them, and then they could, you know, fill up their little cups themselves. So the Berkey was really important this summer and also I sat outside a lot and I got water from the Berkey and that um, it was just it just makes me drink a lot of extra water we have had this at least seven maybe closer to ten years I honestly don't remember and we have used it every single day and I have inserted a video. Doug kindly explained how it worked. And so I'm going to insert a video of Doug explaining how it works right now. Okay, this is the Berkey, and Doug's going to explain how it works. This is the big Berkey. <laughs> and it is the it capacity is of two something gallons. A little 2 over two. Five, yeah. And there's the spigot. And you put the water in there. And you can you know, carbon and a bunch of ceramic and stuff in the filters. You can put mud puddle water, any kind of nasty water in there, and that will clean it. You might even be able to pee in it. I think you can. <laughs> will it clean the pee? I think it will. This is what they use in backpackers uh, water purifiers. And we will use this when the zombies come <laughs> and then it filters it into there and we've been using this for years and the water tastes real good okay how often then, do you how often uh, do you buy a filter uh, uh every few years is that all but, yeah and you I clean it out once or twice a year okay you take them out and then you rub them with a green scrub pad what are yeah. they called yeah, Scott, I know what you're, yeah, scotch yeah, bright scotch or something. Bright. Yeah. Just gently. Okay. Just get the crud off and put it back. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Thank you. Bye. So we got this off Amazon a long time ago. Uh, like I said, I haven't mentioned it because of the cost, but we really, really have enjoyed it a whole lot. And I think it just lasts pretty much forever. You know, I just can't ever see us not ever using it. So the Berkey was a definite uh, favorite for the, for the month of July. Something else that has helped make this summer or make July really much more pleasant for me is this insect repellent. I've sat outside a lot, like I said, in the front, we were dive bombed especially me they just they wait for me outside they hover around the entrance to the door they have a party they get drunk <laughs> they wait for me to come out and feed them my blood those things love me and i was using off with deep the deep woods one everything and it helps some I even, which was a big fail, I even got some skin so soft. It used to work for me. It was a big fail. I tried the bombshell. I had read the bombshell uh, scent perfume from Victoria's Secret. They loved it. The, uh, the thing that has worked the best and been the least obnoxious on my body has been this one from Coleman. It is called the Insect Repellent Skin Smart Deet free odorless 
Yes, it is DEET free and it works better than the DEET ones. It really does. Those things do not like this spray. I just put a little bit on my feet and on my arms because sometimes I'm sitting outside with jeans on, believe it or not, in this heat. Uh, but I'll put, put it on my legs, whatever is exposed, and just kind of put it around my ankles and on my feet and mm-mm. No, ma'am. They do not like this. They do not like it at all. But, uh, so that is for sure a favorite. These little, little tiny rubber bands, those little bitty tiny ones, but it comes, I got these in a little screw on thing. You know, it says little bitty ones. How many are in there? I don't even know. A million, I guess. <laughs> they're little bitty ones, but they're so handy to have. I keep them sitting out on my, um, you know, where my sink is. And like when I'm getting, putting a new, the basket that I have in the bathroom for the garbage, it just doesn't, it fits okay on this one, but it doesn't on the other one. So what I'll do is I'll do it around like that in a little thing and then just tie it on with one of these like that. And it'll just stay, you know, looking good. So it'll stay, stay in place and everything. So I just love having these. I will, oh, just anything. And, you know, I will use them. And then when I throw the garbage out, I'll just throw one of them away. I'll just cut it out if it gets tangled. If I'm doing a little bitty ponytail, if I'm doing, you know, like little, um, like braiding my hair at night when I go to sleep or something, I put it on there. I have just found these are the handiest things and it's really convenient to have them all here together in this little convenient little jar. I've really been thrilled with them. Doug asked me to tell you all about this. This was his favorite. He ordered four of them. I don't know if you're still available or not. I'll look and see. He went, I guess I had bought this at one time from Bath and Body Works and he just doesn't like scents to wash his hands with, except this one. It's the Island Island Papaya. He loves it. It is the foamy one from Bath & Body Works. It's actually the White Barn brand, but they sell it at Bath & Body Works, and he ordered four online. Now, for him to order four online, he wants to keep using it. He just, he just thinks it smells just wonderful. He really likes it. So he asked this to be included in a favorite, because it really is. Another big favorite sitting outside is this. This is a fresh one, a new one, because I used the other one up. It's the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face and Body Stick. I'll sit outside watching the kids. You know, I'll put my boob spray on, my Coleman spray, and I'll just roll this on and then sit there and I'll roll it on. I'll roll it on my face. I have just really been able to sit outside for a long time without getting burnt. So I'll just roll it here, roll it there, and um, it just has been the handiest thing to have. I keep it in my purse, but before I go out in the afternoons to see the grandkids, they knock on the door, do you wanna come out and play or watch us? I'll, yeah, I will. So before I go out, I grab this and I grab my bug spray before I go outside. And I've really enjoyed it. It just, it's just so handy. It does a good job too, it's a SPF of 70. So, and it's, it's dry feeling too. So, really enjoyed that. I know we have watched several shows, but one of them that comes to mind that we are in the process of watching right now, so this might be August, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. It is Helter Skelter, An American Myth. So, it is the story of, of course, um, Charlie Manson and the family but it's a behind the scenes of what it was really like and some of the myths that have built up around him. It talks about the myth and it talks about, it talks to several women that lived, that didn't participate in any of the killings so they never had to go to jail, but that lived on the compound with him and what it was like, what it was really like to live with him and what the time was and what his ideas were uh, of some of the things he did. So. Um, it's, we can, I can highly recommend it. I think we're on our third or fourth episode. It's just really good. Hey, I'm ready to talk about hair. The first thing that I have done that is starting to help my hair with hair loss is being able, is dermal rolling. 
I have started derma rolling. That has made all the difference in the world. Uh, the derma roller that I've been using, I'm pleased with it. Um, I'll, I might try another one next time. I'm using the 0.25. Uh, I talked to Mary Ellen. She derma rolls her hair and also L. L is for living. I have watched her videos of her derma rolling her hair or her scalp. I will link both of their channels so you can learn how to derma roll your scalp. But I derma roll it twice a week with a 0.25. I think next time I get a derma roller, which you're supposed to replace them pretty often, uh, I'm going to get a 0.5 because I'm going to go up just a little bit, see if it makes a difference. I started derma rolling because I had been using the nioxin and I've been using it and have been pleased with it, but I felt like I could take it up a step. So I added the derma rolling after I really thought about it and researched it and it really really has taken it up another step so much so that i'm thinking about experimenting doing without the nioxin and using regular shampoo and conditioner and just using a serum afterwards after i derma roll on the areas where you know i'm i'm having the most problems so i'm experimenting on that doing without the nioxin but i'm very very pleased with my progress with the derma roller I will do a video update when I do it some more. I have been doing it, oh, a good six weeks to two months. I'm starting to feel stubble under there and on this side over here too, where I can feel some stubble, just like it's about as long as a grain of rice underneath there where it's coming back in again. And that's very encouraging to me. So the derma rolling, that has made a big difference and it was a big, big thing for me the month of July. I use the Sidara S-D-A-R-A Skin Care Derma Roller. I get it off Amazon. It kind of shows you what it looks like. And I've been doing it twice a week and I do, I know it's been making a difference. I have noticed a lot less hair in the drain, sometimes just a very few strands a very few strands when I brush and I really think it's the derma roller. derma roller. I never thought I would get off the nioxin. I'm going to see if I can and just keep on doing the derma roller. In order to gauge how well the derma roller is doing or any product that I do, I got to me a drain. I've had this for a long time. It is a drain that you can use in your bathtub. So you've got, you can either, if your drain comes up, you can use it like that. If your drain goes down, you can use it like this. I could not find this one. I don't remember where I got it because I've had it for several years, but I will look on Amazon and see if there's another one that is, you know, works just as well. But it is a, just a little plastic or a little silicone drain that can work two ways according to how your, um, how your tub is, your shower is. And the main thing is just to trap it, and then when you turn the water off, you can just take the hair off and put it in a ball and kind of see how, how much you've got. Now, this is so bad, but it's practical. I had noticed that my drain started, you know, it was starting to, you know, kind of water was backing up a little bit. And I always use my drain. I thought, what is going on? And so I realized that there was probably some hair that had gotten through or one time when I forgot to use it or something in the shower and hair had gotten through. So I bought me a handy dandy plastic snake type thing to use. This thing, it's got little hooks on it. You put it down your drain and you can, I give it a little twist, I don't think you have to. You pull it out, get ready to be grossed out. You will not believe what is down your drain probably. Before you start using this, I would clean out my drain real well first in my bathtub. I got three of them and they are just necessary. If you've got long hair, if you've got shedding hair especially, but I just, I put, I put that thing down there. I could not believe it. I just could, but boy, my drain, it just goes like crazy now. It just drains like, like nobody's business. You wouldn't believe it, but this is great. I love this. It's always the practical things. And uh, 
On my ends, my ends, you know, were bleached and tend to be dry. I have really enjoyed this prep out rally. I had used it before and then for some reason got off of it. It came, I bought a bottle of it and then for a while I got BoxyCharm and it came in a BoxyCharm before I canceled the BoxyCharm and it also is a protectant. It protects to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. But I put that on when my hair is wet and just about three, I divide my hair in the back and just on the ends, you know, about three, three sprays on each side and then comb it through and it just really, the tangles just really come out. And that really helps with my hair breaking off, you know, having more shedding of hair. I really like this Prep Rally. It is by Dry Bar. Very good. It smells wonderful. Really smells good. The next one, I am so mad because it is my hair color. And I, I put the box aside to save it, and I, I think I threw it away because I can't find the box anymore. But I will put a picture of it. I found out about this hair color from Ellis for Living. She used it. Uh, she showed it, mixing it together with another hair color. It is the Revlon Color Silk 3D Color and my color that I use is 74 Medium Blonde. I really like it. I really do, you know, coloring your hair at home, which I am doing. Uh, this has been, I do it once a month. It's easy to do. I just do the roots and been real happy with it. It lasts and just does a real good job. Doesn't, is it too stinky or anything? I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. So I was glad that I heard about it from Elle. And this last thing right here is, I noticed that my friend Mary Glitzy Fritzy had real pretty eyebrows. And so I looked on one of her videos to see what she used. It's the Benefit, uh, you know, eye gel. So you just put it on and it holds your eyebrows in place. And I had this and I don't remember when I got it, but I had it and I thought, I'm gonna get that back out again. And I did, and it became a favorite. The Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter is what it's called. So that is it. Those are my favorites. I hope it's not too long. I will try to cut it down as much as I can so that it won't go on and on and on. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of the week. I will see you all in a couple of days, and I thank you very much. Bye-bye.